It has names like Soda Bomb or Drano Bomb. There's been an increase in them popping up around people's homes. Between 6, 10, 7 o'clock a.m. that uh, we have somebody swing by and throw a cocktail bomb at my house while my wife and my baby were sleeping in the house. That happened about three weeks ago. Since the incident, things have turned around for Young and his family. After we aired his story online, Facebook supporters rallied around the man and his family business. This is home for me. I lived here for 33 years from Vietnam and this is home and I'm not going nowhere. But Hang still has his frustrations. Why would anyone want to hurt another person this way? But it comes down to my personal safety and everything. I have to do what I got to do. And it just people push you in a different comfort zone with me. It's the element that I don't want to be there. The day before his family was attacked with one of those so-called Drano bombs, Hang says a woman came to his food stand downtown in Grants Pass with a hateful message. Me and she say, are you Vietnamese? And I say, yes, man, I am, because I thought she was going to order some food. And she say, we hated you guys. We want you out of here. As co-owner of Saigon Sitlo, a Vietnamese food wagon in downtown Grants Pass, Hang says the community has really come out in support since our story first aired last month. Still, police haven't solved the case against Hang, and there's been an increase in so-called soda bomb attacks. And they could be very dangerous. Hang says he hopes something can be done to find his attacker before someone else gets hurt. Travis Cook, NBC5 News.